Well, the tunnel seems to be up and functioning again. That's the name after mon months of inaction for the negotiations over the Northern Ireland Protocol. And the reports are that there will now be focused mines and that uh, the, the real conversation will be taking place and that red lines will be largely ignored and big, bold steps are needed. That's what Steve Baker has said in defiance of a call from Lord Frost last week on the 5th that we shouldn't forget our red lines. Well, Lord Frost, of course, is very bellicose. Bellicosity is not something we want at this time of international tension. And particularly as we're coming up to the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. So we've just seen the grand... Um, meetings in Lancaster House but, uh, with the Northern Irish delegations. The DUP is having its uh, party conference and Sir Geoffrey Donaldson has done some table bashing. He wants to see actions, not words. The DUP has made its demands. Simon Coveney, the Irish uh, Foreign Minister, has said that he's not convinced that a deal can be made by October the 28th, which is the date when Chris Heaton Harris would be obliged to call an election for the Stormont Assembly if the Stormont Assembly still can't find a way to assemble. And, uh, you know, with some caveats, it's all looking very positive. But what worries me slightly is this is... This is something that has been pretty well pushed forward by Chris Heaton Harris's relationship with Simon Coveney, which had already been and which had already been set up long ago when they were both working together in the European Union, in the European Parliament, and in the latest report, there's not very much reference to the activity of Chris Heaton Harris himself, and I worry that. Um, uh, if this is an initiative that is hijacked by the big boys, it could easily be scrapped by their own stupidity. I, I hope to God that uh, Liz Truss keeps her distance because um, she's the person who set up all these red lines. She's the person who set up the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill, which gets another reading in Parliament in the next day or so. And that sort of aggression is not really what we want to be hearing at this moment. What we want to be hearing at this moment is a resolution and hands across the sea, friendship. Uh, and what I know of Chris Heaton Harris is significantly more positive than the sort of stuff we hear from number 10 and number 11. So fingers crossed that out of this second-rate government, we have a first-rate solution by a first-rate minister. We just hope.